two, one, two. Straight. I formed New Orleans Art House Music, uh, the organization we're about a year old now. In December we have a big performance uh, that we're getting ready for right now, Christmas performance um, scheduled on December 17th. And uh, part of the, the mission of what we're trying to do is really create more concertized settings for, for jazz in the city and this is a great opportunity to play. Uh, Holy Name of Jesus Church is uh, one of the you know, largest and most beautiful churches in the city. So it's, a, it's an honor, it's a privilege to play there. Uh, we have a long-term vision of sort of in injecting a new uh, or a fresh um, approach to what we call the, the tradition of New Orleans. This is the 21st century, and we really want to address jazz on 21st century terms. You know, when jazz was created in the, at, at the beginning of the 20th century, um, for instance, Louis Armstrong was here in New Orleans, but he was influenced by, you know, opera. He was influenced by the minstrel uh, shows that he was able to uh, be privy to. He was influenced by uh, dance, by, you know, just, just ragtime. There were just multiple influences that he, that he was able to take and sort of create this as we use the catchphrase, this musical gumbo that we term jazz. So today, you know, we're exposed to these, that music, and then there's new music that we're exposed to. So we're trying to take some of those influences in. I don't think there's any city in the world like New Orleans because you do so many types of gigs. And in New York, you kind of get, okay, you're a bebop cat, or you're a modern cat, or it's this, but New Orleans, you just whatever, you know? So that's why I dig about here specifically. It's just unique. It's one in a million, you know? It's just nothing. And there's such a sense of community here that I haven't felt in other cities. A real community spirit. Fortunately, being in New Orleans, um, young musicians have a lot of um, opportunity to interact with elder musicians. Part of the, the community here, the artistic community, is very inviting towards the young community, uh, the young uh, generation, I should say, of musicians. To me, um, the level of talent that we have here it shouldn't be defined by who, you know, who makes it in New York and who makes it in Los Angeles or, or whatever uh, big industry opportunity they have. There should be some map that will help ensure that more musicians can be successful as musicians in New Orleans. When I say successful, it doesn't necessarily mean to be a multimillionaire or what have you, but it means that you can have a family and you can, you know, and you can have a, a comfortable lifestyle and, and be a uh, contributing citizen as a musician, that you're actually uh, able to uh, provide an education for your children and, and you know, some of the, the enjoyable things in life that, that, you know, that others may take for granted. Often musicians, uh, in, in some cases, may not be able to because of the challenges that they find themselves in. Uh, in this in this business. Ellis Mars House told me one time, he was saying, man, just pick one thing and do that, be great at that, you know? And pick, make sure you love it, because otherwise you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna wanna schlep drums around town for a $50 gig, or a free gig, unless you love it, you know? Give me some gigs, Ed. Man, I'm just kidding. <laughs>